Welcome to Practical Medicine. Today's topic Abnormal Heart Sounds. Heart Sounds These are sounds of brief duration that heard during the cardiac cycle. The sounds that are of brief duration that we are hearing during the cardiac cycle, these are known as heart sounds. There are four heart sounds. Heart sound 1, 2, 3 and 4. Which are the methods to hear the heart sound? First one, direct hearing. It is not so clear. Second method with the help of stethoscope, first two sounds are heard very well and third one phonocardiogram. All four heart sounds are heard. So here with the help of stethoscope we hear only heart sound 1 and heart sound 2. And with the help of phonocardiogram we are going to hear all four heart sounds. Causes of heart sounds. Heart sound 1 due to closure of atrioventricular valves mitral and tricuspid. Heart sound 2 due to closure of semilunar valves aortic and pulmonary. Heart sound 3 by vibrations of ventricular wall due to inrushing of blood from the atria. Heart sound 4 by vibrations set up during the atrial systole which coincide with last rapid filling phase of the ventricular diastole of the cardiac cycle. So there are four heart sounds. Heart sound 1, 2, 3 and 4. All these are the causes of heart sounds. From here we begins with the abnormal heart sounds. Heart sound 1 variation. Normal heart sound or physiological variations in the heart sound 1. At the base S1 is softer than S2 and this heard at the right and left second intercostal spaces. And at the apex S1 is often but not always louder than S2. At the level of base, S1 is softer than S2, but at the level of apex, S1 is louder than S2. So that is the normal variation or the physiological variation inside the HS1 or the heart sound 1. So S1 sound that is accentuated in the conditions of tachycardia that occurs during exercise, anemia or hyperthyroidism and in these rhythms with short PR interval and high cardiac output states. And second one, mitral stenosis. In the mitral stenosis, the mitral valve is still open wide at the onset of ventricular systole and then closes quickly. So in these conditions of mitral stenosis, due to this mitral valve is still open wide at the onset of ventricular systole and then closes quickly so that we are hearing heart sound 1 louder than that of the heart sound 2. This abnormal condition is known as accentuated level of the HS1. Now the diminished first heart sound. That means heart sound 1 is soft than that of the S2. So this happens in the first degree heart block, left bundle branch block and myocardial infraction. Why this happens in all these conditions? It is due to weak ventricular contractions and it is also diminished in the acute aortic regurgitation because early mitral valve closure that occurs before ventricular contraction. So in both of these conditions the S1 is diminished. So which conditions first degree heart block, left bundle branch block and myocardial infraction as well as acute aortic regurgitation. Now the third condition varying of the heart sound 1 that means one time the heart sound is diminished as well as on the second time it is accentuated. So this type of condition happens in complete heart block. Why? Because in this condition atria and ventricles are beating independently of each other. And second condition is atrial fibrillation. Because in these situations the mitral valve is in varying position before being shut by ventricular contractions. Its closure sound therefore varies in loudness. So these two conditions the HS1 or the first heart sound is varying in intensity. One it is the softer one and one it is the louder one. Splitting of the first heart sound. It is due to delayed closure of the tricuspid valve and it is also seen in the conditions of right bundle branch block and left premature contractions. Why? Because in both of these conditions there is delay in right ventricular contractions so that there is prominent splitting of the HS1 or the first heart sound. 
So here the splitting of the first shot sound occurs due to delayed closure of the tricuspid valve and it happens in the right bundle branch block and premature contractions. Heart sound 2 variations Abnormal heart sound 2 Physiological splitting of the second heart sound So in this condition, normal splitting occurs during the inspiration and disappears on expiration. So here you are saying this is the second heart sound its aortic component and its pulmonary component. Normal splitting occurs during the inspiration. So during the inspiration, the second heart sound is splitted in two different parts, A2 and P2. It is based heard in second and third left intercostal spaces. At apex and aortic area, the pulmonic component of the second heart sound is usually too faint, as to heard mainly of the aortic component. That means at the apex and aortic area, pulmonary component of the S2, that means P2 sound, is usually too faint, that means too soft to hear. So that the second heart sound that heard over the apex and aortic area, it is mainly due to aortic component only, that means only A2 sound heard at the apex and aortic area. Now the pathological splitting of the second heart sound. That means physiological splitting that persists throughout the respiratory cycle. Now physiological condition during the inspiration there is splitting of the second heart sound. But during the expiration the second heart sound is not splitted. That means the second heart sound we are hearing as a single one. Now what is pathological split? In this condition there is physiological splitting that persists throughout the respiratory cycle. That means the physiological splitting that occur during the inspiration is also going to happen during the expiration as you are seeing in this. So that is the splitting of second heart sound during the inspiration that is occurring during expiration as well. Now the first one in the pathological split wide splitting that is due to delayed closure of the pulmonic valve as in pulmonic stenosis or right bundle branch block or early closure of the aortic valve. This occurs in the mitral regurgitation. Here in this condition you are seeing that the gap between the A2 and P2 is wide. So this type of splitting it is known as wide splitting and it is due to delayed closure of the pulmonic valves. As in pulmonic stenosis or right bundle branch block or due to early closure of the aortic valve. This occurs in the mitral regurgitation. Now the second one fixed splitting that means the splitting is occurring but the gap between the A2 and P2 remains constant that means the splitting is happening but the wide splitting that is not correlating with the respiration and it is due to prolonged right ventricular systole and it is seen in atrial septal defects and right ventricular failure. So this type of fixed splitting we are going to see in conditions of ventricular systole, specifically right ventricular systole prolongation as well as atrial septal defect and right ventricular failure. Now the third one, paradoxical or reverse splitting. In these conditions, the splitting appears on expiration and disappears on inspiration. Normally, the splitting occurs during the inspiration and disappears during the expiration. But here, in paradoxical or reverse splitting, splitting that appears on expiration and disappears on inspiration. So here you are seeing the splitting that is not happening during the inspiration, but during the expiration the split has been occurs. It is due to closure of aortic valve is abnormally delayed so that A2 follows P2 in the expiration. Why this happening? Because the closure of aortic valve is abnormally delayed. So this type of splitting it is paradoxical or reverse type of splitting. Now in conditions of normal inspiratory delay of P2 that makes the split disappear. And the cause of paradoxical or reverse splitting it is the left bundle branch block. Second heart sound variation aortic component and pulmonic component we are going to hear from the second right intercostal space. A2 with increased intensity. It is due to conditions of systemic hypertension and aortic root is dilated. So in both of these conditions, the A2 component of the second heart sound is increased in intensity and specifically we are going to hear from the or on the 
second right intercostal space a2 decrease or absent it is seen in conditions of calcific aortic stenosis when a2 sound is inaudible there will be no any type of splitting now p2 that means pulmonic component with increase in intensity here if p2 is more than or equal to a2 this condition seen in the pulmonary hypertension dilated pulmonary artery and atrial septal defect now second thing p2 decreased or absent this condition occurs in increased antero posterior diameter of the chest that is associated with the aging and p2 inaudible that means no split only a2 sound so this condition specifically of a2 and p2 with increased intensity and decrease or absent intensity or sound specifically we are hearing from the second intercostal space i hope now you understand abnormalities of the heart sounds if you like this presentation please try to share it with your friends group batch and colleagues thank you so much everyone